What's going on, Internet? I'm back. I'm back today. It's Thursday. Let's have a party. Actually, speaking of parties, how about that Canadian election? Was that not a great segue? Like, I think that was perfect. I couldn't have done that any better. To those of you who didn't vote, go hang yourself in a closet. No, you shouldn't do that. I'm only joking. Well, kind of. Today, we're going to be breaking down everything that happened Monday night, and we're going to tell you what it means for Canada. Stephen Harper is our Prime Minister. He has a majority government. I don't really see this as a bad thing as a lot of you out there do. The thing about this is, yes, Stephen Harper's been our Prime Minister for four years now, but he's always had a minority government, so we've never really been able to see what he can do. And the fact that so many Canadians don't like him is probably due in part that he always had to be fighting other parties for support. Someone who's, who always has to be combative obviously isn't going to be well liked by everyone. So who knows, maybe this will be the time for Stephen Harper to shine. It's not like the guy was very bubbly before, but who knows, maybe he does have a personality. So the Conservative Party has one. They were dominant in Alberta, out west, as always. Where I live here in New Brunswick, they took um, eight of nine ridings. They got a riding in uh, Newfoundland which has been dominated by the Liberals. We will talk about the Liberals. The second winner in all this is, of course, Jack Layton. The tough thing to decide now is whether he is actually a winner or a loser. Some people have the viewpoint that he made all these promises that now, because he's facing a majority government, he actually does not have to keep any of them. The problem with that is that the people who did vote for him are expecting these things, especially in Quebec. The people of Quebec completely dissembled the Bloc Québécois in favor of the NDP. I think the people of Quebec are going to want something. It is, it's kind of a lose-lose situation for Jack. On one hand, he has people who voted for him saying, do what you told us you would do, and he can't really do that. Let's be honest, he can't. On the other hand, because he can't do what the people who voted for him want him to, he has no opportunity to give them a reason to vote for him again. They'll just say, oh, we voted for Jack, he didn't do anything for us. So that one is going to be a tough one to watch in the next election in, thank God, 2015. Now we'll get on to the real circus show here. I've said it from the beginning, and I will continue saying it as long as he's there. The problem with the Liberal Party is Michael Ignatieff. I would not vote for him. I mean, I'm sure he's probably a really nice guy. I don't know what it is about him, but there's just something about him I don't trust. Um, I don't necessarily like him. I don't necessarily relate to him. And I'm not entirely convinced that he's the best that they can do. I would think at some point, considering he didn't even win his own riding, as a party, the Liberal Party has to say, okay, I think it's time that we have a leader who can actually, you know, get into the government. When our leader cannot get his own seat into the parliament, yeah, I think it might be time to look elsewhere. I would say to any person who votes Liberal, I would say now is the time to strongly consider Justin Trudeau. He has the Trudeau name which people will recognize. But not only that, he's a very good speaker. I think Trudeau would help you win back Quebec, and uh, he would definitely get some attention from out west. He, he definitely would not. You, you will not pull the west from the conservatives. The people of Alberta have said, look, we're conservatives. But I think Trudeau has enough uh, pull in, in Canada to pull some of those traditionally conservative or NDP ridings back to the Liberals. And finally, let's just, we, I guess we have to say a little something about the Bloc Québécois. Let's go, Quebecers, show me that hate mail. Uh, Gilles Duceppe lost his own race. He has stepped down from the Bloc Québécois. They've only gotten three or four seats, so they are no longer a party. They are no longer an official party in Canada. And I said this three weeks ago, and I will say it again. I don't care if the province of Quebec hates me. Quebec always has and always will be a part of Canada. Quebec liberalism and nationalism, it won't work. You will always be a part of Canada. The nationalist party of Quebec is now gone. It's been a long time since they've had um, a lot of MPs from Quebec involved in the party in power. That's what happens when you vote for the Bloc for 20 years. But I guess at this point they really thought Jack Layton could win. I mean, a lot of people voted NDP that have no idea who their candidates were. You end up with situations like in Gatineau where there's this MP who didn't even run. 
She was in Vegas for two weeks. She didn't campaign, and, and yet she won because the people of Quebec said, you know what, we want to roll the dice with Jack Layton. All right, that's about all I can give you on the Canadian election today. If you want some more information, go find a credible news source. Of course, you know where the subscribe buttons are, one in the corner, one up top. You should know where the like button is, that's down below, give it a thumbs up. As always, if you're feeling a little bit more frisky, go down to add to, hit favorites, that helps us out, supports the show. I'll be back on Tuesday, we will talk about other stuff that you don't care about, and you will regret spending four minutes of your life watching this. It's the way it always happens. It's kind of why you watch, because you just... There's that hope that there might be something good, and then you watch it, and you're like, no, no. Really, at this point, I'm just making fun of my own show. And I almost forgot one last thing here. The guys over at uh, Video AdLibs, um, they recently contacted me, and they wanted me to get involved with their project. I think it's a really original idea, and God knows that YouTube has no original ideas on it. If you've ever spent more than five minutes on YouTube, I'm sure you've noticed that. But yeah, so the guys at Video AdLibs, I'm going to be helping them out a little bit. So if you want to go ahead and click right here, uh, you can go ahead and check out what they're doing. I think it's a really neat idea. Other than that, I'll be back on Tuesday. Try not to miss me. Yeah, that, that is still not funny. So until Tuesday, my name is Jeff Martin and this is After Dark.